Hi, my name is Zarina Aisha Marin. I am a network engineer, and today we are going to go through a subnet question where you are asked to work out the subnet ID and the broadcast ID. The first step that I would take is to work out the number of bits. To do this, we need to work out the binary representation of the subnet mask 255.255.128.0. To work this out, first we need to calculate 2 to the power of 0 all the way down to 2 to the power of 7 because we have 8 bits. The first bit becomes 128. The second bit becomes 192 because we add 128 to 64. The third bit becomes 224 because we add 192 to 32. We keep going until we get to the 8th bit which becomes 255. Now, if we push this to the right, we can easily work out the number of bits. The first octet has 255, which means we have 8 bits. The same goes for the second octet. The third octet has the value 128. If we look at our table, that means it has 1 bit. If we add this all up, we have 17 bits in total. If we were to write this up into binary, we would have 17 ones and 15 zeros because an IP version 4 address has 32 bits. The second step is now to work out the IP address in binary. To understand this decimal to binary conversion better, we will go through a working example. Let's take the third octet, 206, and divide it by 2. We get 103 remainder 0, so we write a 0. We then take 103 and divide it by 2. We get 51 remainder 1, so we stick a 1 before the 0. We then divide 51 divided by 2. We get 25 remainder 1, so we stick a 1 before the 1. And we keep going until we have no more to divide by 2. And we are then left with a string of ones and zeros. This is basically our binary uh, format, uh, our binary representation of that decimal number. Now, let's take 13 and divide it by 2. We get four digits. And if you're in a situation like this, because we need eight bits, remember, we then stick about four zeros before it. We now have our binary for the third and fourth octet. The third step is to add the binary representation of the bits and the binary representation of the IP address together. The binary addition rule is that 1 plus 1 equals 1 and everything else becomes 0. So if we look at the third and fourth octet, we can see there is 1 and a 1. If we add that together, it becomes 1. Everything else is a 0. If we now convert this back into decimal, we can see the first bit is equal to 128. So our subnet ID becomes 10.24.128.0. To work out the broadcast ID, we now take the binary representation of those two addresses added together and we flip the zeros to 1. We then convert that to decimal using our table and we get 10.24.128.0. 255.255. In the description below, you will be able to find a summary step by step guide on how to calculate what exactly we just did in this video. Otherwise, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and leave your comments down below.